is the presence of the Lord not in this place this morning. Is the presence of the Lord. No, 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 no. You've got to do something. Is the presence of the Lord in this place this morning. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come and give God the highest praise. The clap offering in this place this morning. He deserves the highest. Oh, the highest praise, God. It is all because of you. It is all because of you. It is all because of you. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. We acknowledge that you are the Son of God. We worship Jesus. We worship Jesus. Holy 
are you, Lord? Holy are you, Lord? The twain of his robe filled the temple this morning. The twain of his robe. Oh, oh, holy are you, Lord. We come in your presence, God. We come into a holy presence. What shall I render unto Jehovah? What shall I render unto you? For you've done so much for me. Done so much for us. When you've done so much for us, what shall I do? God, David said, Everything I have belongs to you. I have nothing, I own nothing. Oh, Masata. I have nothing. Everything I have is yours. Everything I give you is yours. Everything I own is yours. We have nothing, God. It is yours. on our side, we would have died, we would have died, the enemy meant for evil you turn it around for your glory whatever the enemy meant for evil you turn it around for your glory whatever the enemy meant for evil in our lives you turn it around for your favor for your glory and your majesty thank you God thank you Jesus oh, oh what a presence Oh, 
The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Hey, ya mama saya nana la mama masete keya. Hey, hey, ya mama mama saya la mama kaya bo. Ya mama saya. There's an outpouring in this place. There's an outpouring in this house. There's an outpouring in this Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. New wine in this place. An outpouring of new wine in this house. Ooh. He says, I'm making all things new. I'm making all things new. I'm making all things new, saith the Lord. I'm making all things new. Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will, I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I make it a conscious decision to rejoice. I make it a conscious point to celebrate the Lord for He's worthy. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. I want to welcome everyone this morning in the house of the Lord. The presence of the Lord is here this morning. You cannot walk out the way you came in. It's impossible. We just need to open our hearts and open our minds. I want to welcome my dear and old friend, Pastor Vivian. Will you please stand and your husband? Will you please stand this morning? They are pastors in the ministry honor you this morning. Thank you for being here this morning. God bless you. Is there any first time visitors this morning? Can you please stand? We just want to welcome you. This morning the service is not the way it goes. God bless you this morning. Everyone that's here for the first time, God bless you. The ushers will hand you out a card just so that we can keep in touch and that you can. We have a busy church. We have radio ministry. We have prayer meetings. Pastor Priscilla will be at the end of the service. She's going to give us the, the announcements. Um, we're talking about the kingdom. I guess disorientated means so. Um, we're talking about the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And last week we started with, we continued on Matthew chapter 4, where the Lord spoke about when Jesus was came from the wilderness, came from the mountain, came from the wilderness basically where he's tempted by Satan. And when he started to preach, he took over from basically from, Matt, from, from John. And John preached, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he carried on with that. Amen. So he carried on to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He was, he was continuing on that. And then he walked past the Sea of Galilee. And the Bible said, 
that he said to, 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 the, to the two brothers, two, two, four brothers ultimately, four men. The first man that he called into, into discipleship was two brothers, two. One was fishing, one was, was, was drawing out a net or they was busy fishing with a net. We looked at that last week. The second brothers was mending a net and how God was saying, that they only had a net. There was only one thing. And they were so busy with this one thing. And when Jesus passed them by, he said, leave that one little net, that a net, and follow me. He get to the second set of brothers who was with their fathers, with his father. And he said to them, they were mending a net. The brothers was mending. The father was with him. And how God was calling them out from their father and said, come and follow me. And I will make you, both of them, come, I will make you. Fishes of men. I want you to leave. Ek wil hee, jy moet op ons sikkel met een net. Jy is bezig met een net. Jy is net bezig met een dingiekie. En ek wil hee, jy moet my volg. Ek wil hee, jy moet, jy moet word. Disciples van mense. I want you to look at something in a minute. The, the Lord gave me a powerful revelation for this morning. We will see we take more than once a month, we take Holy Communion because it's what is bringing me back in alignment with the word to Jeremiah 29, 11. It is communion that brings me back in alignment. It is communion as die, as die tafel van die Heere wat my terug in end in my oorspronkelijke plan wat God vir my leven het. Amen. So if you're out of alignment, take communion. It, got, it is a place. It is the very thing that ushers me back into the presence of God and in alignment with God. It is the table of the Lord that brings me back into the plan, the fulfilled plan, the good plan, the successful plan, the hopeful plan of God. Amen. So we looked at where Jesus was telling them, come on people, follow me. You are busy mending a net with your father. The Bible said, the, the second set of brothers, they even left their fathers and they followed Jesus because what they understood was, I'm mending something for years. Even their father, was mending a net for years. Their father, there was a, gen a generational curse of poverty over that family because their father couldn't even give them a new net. The father was even mending the same net with his sons. And Jesus looked at the situation. He said, hey men, so lost hierdie, hierdie werk hy, want die sal net wat jy werk, is die sal net wat gaan breek. Amen. That was what was the problem with Adam and Eve. They tried to make clothes with a fig tree. Hulle was bezig om kleer te maak met a feie blaar. Die hulle so bezig om die, om die, om die, om die rok of die broek te maak toe die ding bezig om te verwelk. Niks wat God, wat, wat God jy aan mekaar gesit het die, het nie everlasting life nie. Everything that God does has everlasting life. Everything that man makes has got an expiry date to it. So they were mending a net. So they were trying to fix something that was broken already. Hallelujah. And here I say, Hoot puta, come for me. You, you, listen to this. Listen to this. Worry. You were giving food to people. Worry, worry. You were giving food to people. You were, the, you were providers of fish to the city. Worry, worry. Mensa, mensa, this morning sit with an open spirit. This morning the Lord is here. I've come prepared. I'm not, I didn't come, I'm not, I'm getting, I'm, get, I'm not getting prepared here. I am prepared for this morning. The Lord said, follow me. I will make you fishes of men. Worry, worry. I want to make you a source of no end of the supply. What I'm about to introduce to you, there's no end to come to be coming when you follow me. You don't mend a net when you are following me. Because I'm about to unlock something in you that you don't even know. It's an ever-flowing, overflowing river, streams of loving waters. Listen to this revelation. The Lord gave me this 12 o'clock last night. Listen to this. Woo! He said, worry, 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 worry. After that, after that, Jesus began to preach healing in the kingdom. He healed the sick, the brokenhearted, the paralytic, says this Bible. He says that those who are epileptic, whatever, diseases, yourselves, the what, what, and poor machte gevul was, the Heere het amal genees. But I want to show you something in this. Blew my mind, Pastor Rian. Worry. Oh, get ready, get ready. Listen to this. He tells them, follow me. I want to make you fishes of men. I'm going to show you something in a minute, Pastor Colin. 
the people woo, that you sold, that you, that you, that you, what is for coop in English? Sell. That you sold fish to. I'm going to show you how broken they are. All that you had was temporary. But the kingdom is an everlasting flow of life. You fed their tummies. You fed their houses. But the very same people was broken in their lives. And the Lord showed me last night. When Jesus began to preach in Matthew chapter 4 and 5. He preached to the very same people that they were selling fish to. But they were sick. They were broken. They were filled with demons. They were paralytic. They were, hey man, all of us this form. All of us arm and the And the more they were giving fish, the less they had of God. Because what the fishermen did was, they were giving food to the, they were providers to their household. But they were not providers to their spirit man. So Jesus says, for go for me. They sell a man, sir. But I want to show you how broken they are. The kingdom comes to heal the broken soul. Ooh. The kingdom come before you get the provision of the entire kingdom. You will first get healed in the kingdom. That's the reason why Jesus never multiplied fish in that moment because they didn't need food. They needed the flow of the Holy Ghost. They needed the provider that will bring life into their spirit man. They needed to repent and not get food. Hallelujah. Because they were so focused of on eating and the disciples were so focused on making money that they were losing the entire message of why Jesus came in the very first place. As a matter of fact, they did not know what was about to hit them. They only thought they were waiting the Messiah, but what they got was the kingdom. Jesus. They were waiting for a man, but they didn't know the entire heaven was about to come, and come into their presence. They were awaiting. You see, a net. They were always focused on a thing, one thing. They thought they're just waiting for the Messiah. That's why they asked John, are you the Messiah? John said, I'm not the Messiah. I'm the one who's preparing the way for the Messiah. But he said, there's one coming after me who I'm not even worthy to tie his shoelaces. But what they must, and the devil even must, on the mountain when he tempted Jesus, he wasn't busy with a man. He was busy with a kingdom. This morning is going to be preaching. So he preaches the kingdom. He preaches the kingdom. I need to walk this thing through. So he teaches it. He calls the disciples in. Matthew jumps where he doesn't speak about how he calls all the other disciples. Because remember, Matthew was a tax collector. Luke was a doctor. The, most of them were fishermen. So it was, it was men that was very, they were very busy men. Hulle was hier klom leeg leers hier. Maar nou kan ek jy verstaan, hoekom ek Judas my nie geld, maar Matthias is daar wat die tekst gelekte is hier. Like my Matthias was ook al 26, he knew how to cook the books. Maar Judas was een ander een. Judas werk my nie geld, maar Matthias het gestudeer wat die ding, hy is werk vir SARS. Remember, Matthew worked for SARS. He knew how to cook the books. He, he worked the money out. But Judas Iscariot, the verrayer, worked with the money. How did he die in the rig? But Jesus lost him. Because Judas, his sling had to do with the verlossing plan. Absolutely. Come, I say to you, but you want someone out of the post, you lost him from the post. That man worked for your king. That man worked for your himmel. That man worked for your place. From your destination. Your destination. Los hy man nera. Die man is daar vir assignment van God. Betek jy haat jy jou manager. That manager is the very one that's keeping you on your knees. Leave that man alone. Leave your Judas alone. You better tell Judas in your prayer room what you do. Do it quickly because I'm about to reach the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So we saw 
he, he calls all of these men. I said, I want to teach you how to love in righteousness. Show you something about righteousness this morning. He tells them, come here, tax collector, a doctor, um, a matruosa. By the way, I'm a fluke, Moses, matruosa. But that was the first man of us. They were rude. They were bad. They were not good looking people, but they were hard working people. And here I say, come and face off here. Let me teach you a kingdom principle. Matthew chapter 5. So he began to preach to them. He says, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And when he seated them, his disciples came to him and he began to teach them. The first message of the healing people, he said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Both now, what he, what he, take over to the amplified. The amplified say, Yalkakir, when the kingdom, and it's twice mentioned in chapter 5. In the, in the B attributes, twice he speaks about the kingdom of heaven. And any time and every time he spoke about the kingdom of heaven, every time there was forever, now and forever. What he says is the kingdom worry, worry, is now and forever. The kingdom is now and forever. The kingdom is now and forever. So I'm not sitting here and I'm wondering, am I, I am in the kingdom. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Five, blessed are the gentle, kind-hearted, sweet-spirited, and self-controlled, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the makers and maintainers of peace, for they will be called the sons of God. Number ten, blessed are those who are persecuted for doing what which is morally right. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven, both now and forever. Blessed are you when you, when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil things against you. Be glad and exceedingly joyful for your reward in heaven is great. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before me. So what he teaches them, he gives them the message of a righteous lifestyle. He tells them, He said, now I'm going to show you how to live a righteous lifestyle. Now let me tell you why people are offended by your new lifestyle of living. Can I tell you? Righteousness is a mirror to sin. Because the moment myself and Vivian goes back many, many years, many, many years, many years. So one of us are not saved, using this example. Say I'm not the saved one and Vivian got saved. And I, I'm, I carried on drinking in my life and I'm still going on and I'm clubbing and I'm from one boyfriend to the next boyfriend, and I'm trying all kinds of drugs. The moment today I see Vivian, Vivian is living a righteous life in God. The moment I see her, the righteousness convicts me. Because it's a mirror. My can say some of you have But suddenly, worry, worry, now I see how far gone I am through the mirror I'm looking at. Righteousness becomes a mirror to sin. That's the reason why when you get your old friends along the way, they look at you up and down, up, up, down, down, up. You know what? Because righteousness a reflection of the sun that is in their life. So you don't have to condemn me. You don't have to curse me. The way I stand in God is showing you how far you are from God. Oh! So it's the righteousness that is the judgment in me to you. Listen to this. Worry, worry. What's the reason for I say, 
John says, when he comes, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Now you know what that fire is? The fire is the thing that judges. So I don't have Van Vatsa in the Bible and Corinthians. I say, your works are going to be tested through the fire. So when I stand in the presence of not God alone, because remember, I live a, right, a rightful life. I live a right standing life with God. The moment Vivian stepped into my presence, God stepped into my presence. With a religion mindset, you see. Don't sit here with a religious mindset. The moment Vivian steps in front of me, it is a fire in that person. That brings the judgment to myself. So no one needs to judge me. I judge myself against the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hey, Masata. That's the reason why the Lord says, don't even curse your enemy. Love your enemy. Because when you get in the presence of your enemy, I will deal with your enemy. So righteousness shows me how far you are in sin. So the, because remember when we come to God, we are, we are, we are, we are bending, we are, I know he opens on an OC, because we come to him. The deeper we grow in our prayer life, the deeper we grow in love, the deeper we go in God, he gets up. He comes up in us. He comes up in us. He comes up in us. As I walk from the outer court, into the inner court where I begin to have an intimate relationship with him into the holy of holies as he very problem is very sonder because the moment I step into the presence of the people I used to know and my family members that doesn't know God then brand the geest van God light your life out because sin cannot stand in the presence of the holy of holies sin cannot be in the presence where a man is searching after God this is why they say moenie verhand hoe nie sy ding sy is heilig ah 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 it's the holy of holies that is making that statement it is not by power it is not by might it is by the spirit of the living God they say that because they cannot stand in the presence of God. Nothing to do with you. It's about the God in you. Huh, mama? So they don't want to stand in your presence, Justin. And they say, Niemand, Satan says, Grand. I didn't get arrived. No, 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 no. I did arrive. I did arrive. Because the Holy Ghost has arrived in me. Come on. Oh. So righteousness is a reflection and a mirror sin in the lives of people. So when they look at your eyes, they see you the way you used to dance in the club with them. And they look at you now. And all they see is the manifestation of the presence of God. And immediately they are touched. Hulle word, hulle self word aangekla by jou. Jy het gevrou, gaan het my skat. Jy het niks gesê nie. En hy persoon loop weg. En hy sê nie, jyre, kyk hoe like ek. Jyre, kyk hoe like my huis. Hey, ek het al drie aborties gehad. And all you did was you greeted them. Here is the key. Righteousness greeted them. So they don't gossip about you, Carmen. They gossip about righteousness. Can I go over here, sir? Hulle gossip nie vir my nie. Hulle gossip oor die righteousness in my. And I can't do anything about it. Because I want to know him more. I want to have it. So the deeper I go in him, the deeper I can conversation I'm going to can. But that's okay because the Lord said to me, Genesis chapter 12, whoever curses you, I'm going to curse them. I want to show you something. Can we just switch this message this morning quickly? I want to switch the message this morning. So when Jesus said to the disciples, follow me, he said to them, let me show you what provision looks like. Jylle vang hier met stikkende nette, 
Sê, ga met jou stik in een karrekie weer toe. Hy sê, volg over my. Ga gof jou wees hoe lek provision. Ek wil gof jou wees hoe lek koninkrijk blessing. Die mense wat jy gaan, gaan roep het, die langs die pad. Die het daar aan die sloek. Ek gaan gof jou wees hoe volg die mense vir jou. Die selfde mense, wat jy gaat soek het, ek gaan gof jou wees hoe soek hulle vir jou. Koninkrijk laat mense vir jou soek. So once Jesus was done with us, Pastor Rio, he talks to them, he talks to them, he talks to them, and he gets to chapter 6. And the disciples are beginning to see, Pastor Priscilla, oh, but there's something about this man. And he begins to ask him about prayer. And he tells them, he gives them instruction, don't pray on the corners. And he says for her, and he says for her, Moe nie soe wat jy sê, Father God, I bless you this morning, Father God, I honor you this morning, Father God, thank you, Father God. Hy sê, moe nie een ding oor en oor herhaal nie, because you are not righteous in doing that. Can I give you scripture on that? I'm helping you to grow. Chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6 verse 7. And when you pray, do not use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. So do not be like them. Praying as they do, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this manner. Jesus said to them, Muni, no, but Father God, I thank you, Father God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for, for, for giving us food, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for, I say, Taisi Pati. Don't repeat one thing over and over again like the Gentiles. Because in doing that, they think they're holy, but they're not. In doing that, they think they pray, but they don't. They are repeating, and they think their many words are a prayer. He says, don't do that. Can we just switch this message? Switch. He tells them, let me teach you how you pray. The first instruction, because Jesus was teaching them righteousness, but he gives them the first instruction into the kingdom. He says the first instruction into the kingdom is prayer. Let me teach you how to pray. This blew my mind. This blew my mind. This blue is going to blow your mind in a minute. Let me leave a brother up. He says to them, Now we must not fight. Now we must wake up by it. Pray then in this way, Pastor Naomi. Our Father, who is in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Stop going there. He tells the people, the disciples, the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, he tells them, I have come from my father. I'm picking up now this message from yesterday's men's meeting. Listen to this, Brother Harry. This is going to blow you. Our Father, who is in heaven. 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 Hallowed, worship, glorified, sanctified, magnified is your name. Your kingdom come. Listen to the revelation. Jesus gives the address of his father in the first line of the prayer. He gives the address of where the father is seated from. Jy het dring as in my geest. He tells them, I need you to understand, I come from my father, so our address is heaven. So he tells them, I step out from my father's heaven on earth. 
I am here to tell you the address of where I come from and who I pray to. There's no other heaven that carries God but the I am of the Father. He introduces the address of the King of Glory in the first line. Our Father who is in heaven, He gives the address of where He comes from. Rock your world in a moment. Holy Ghost. He says, let us glorify him. He says, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. He says, he says, now your kingdom come. He says, worry, 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 worry. He said, I said, I've come from the Father. I step out from heaven. He's on earth. So he says, now through me, I am the door. Let the kingdom, the entire kingdom I am the door. Activate this thing through me. He says, I am the direct authority out of heaven. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the Lord showed me something. He gave me a revelation. He said for me, what have I said here? O jyre, 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 jy alleen is die. Hy sê, when God walked in the garden of Eden with Adam, and Adam got lost because of the sin he committed, when God said, Adam, where are you? He wasn't speaking about his physical position. He was asking, why did you disconnect from the kingdom? He said to Adam, Adam, whatever was in me is in you. Why did you disconnect from that position? He wasn't speaking that Adam was hiding behind the apple tree. It's got nothing to do with the apple tree. It's got connected. He asked, where is the kingdom in you now? Jesus never came to restore a pomegranate tree or a lemon tree. He came to restore the kingdom that Adam lost. Oh, he says, I want to restore what Adam has lost. I want to restore the kingdom map in you, Adam, the second Adam. Adam, where are you? This morning, I'm coming to restore the righteousness in you. I'm coming to restore the kingdom map. I'm worried, worried, worried. Adam, I'm coming. Worry, 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 worry. Who worry, worry? I, Adam, second Adam, I'm coming now. San Goy, my broer. Colin, come San Goy for me. For my broer. San Goy, was a clef. San for me. After, bring him after. Was a clef, San Goy. I'll show you something. He says, so the second Adam comes. He says, this is what I want to do. Let me unlock the kingdom principle. Get out of the way that I can unlock the kingdom through you. Unlock, get out of the way because I want to unlock the kingdom. Unlock, get out of the way because now the Messiah is coming through you. Get out of the way. That's what he said to Peter. But when he first of one of us, come and for you to put it. I think I'll give you a little bit of you. Thank you very much. The Lord is saying this morning, Adam, where are you? You are lost and you are not being found. I'm not here for your fisherman. I'm not here for your boat. I'm not here for your net. I'm not here. I am here to restore the entire kingdom that Adam lost. Rabasata. Hey, Makayabosita. I'm not here for a net. I want to show you what the entire kingdom carries. He says, your, your will be done. He says, because here's the key about the kingdom. What is in the kingdom is supernatural provision. What is in the kingdom is healing beyond cancer. Is healing beyond TB. Is healing beyond HIV. I want to show you what you carry on the inside of you. Leave what you have and follow me. I want to show you in righteousness. Every man in this place, I need you to stand. Every man, every man, I want every wife next to her husband this morning. I want to show you something. Line up, 
Kan ik steeds af tot die onder? Nu voor mij jullie dank. We're going to call the Adam back. The Lord gave me a word last night. The Lord gave me a word last night. The Lord said to me, every wife is going to give communion to her husband. She's calling the Adam, the kingdom out of Adam. This morning, I'm calling the kingdom out of my husband. Every single man, line up, line up. So married people, come. They can force on. You can stand wherever you want to stand. I need the ushers to give the, the women are serving their husbands. Look at me first. You can stand for me. You can stand for me. You can stand for me. You can Every single man just stand there. Leona, my skat, come now. Stand for me. The position you're going to serve the single men this morning with communion. I want to show you something. Husband and wife turn to your wife. They turn to your husband. When you give communion this morning, stand up before you. Stand up before you. You stand for me. You move. You stand for me. Please. Yes, that means I can click it. Come now, that come on. You're going to look to your husband. Stand forward and two. Stand forward and two. Look to your husband. I want to tell you something that the Lord told me last night. The Lord told me last night, you need to call the kingdom out of me. Do you know why? Because your destiny is connected to the soul of that man. Your destiny is connected. That man carries the legacy, you need to call it out. As the first, as the intercessor to your husband, this morning you invoke the kingdom. You release the kingdom. You tell your husband, I need you to step into the kingdom. Because if you step in, I step out. If you step in, my children step in. My legacy is in alignment. Everything about me, we will not lack. Because the provision Amen. is in you. You carry what I need. Woo! Kijk, your fro. Jesus. Tell your husband I need you. No, no, no. There's no dating game, see. I need you. I need the kingdom in you. And this morning, as the bone of your bone, I activate the kingdom in you. Basi, 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 nachma. You serve, how fast many, many single men. Bring for my eastern native man. Serve, serve the married people. Give them, let me serve them. This morning as your senior pastor, Heidi, you're going to give only communion to Colin. Take. We are no longer going to ask Adam, where are you? Serving you this morning. You need Adam to come out. The second Adam restored what the first Adam has lost. So this morning, before we get to the men, hold up. Are you married, sir? Are you married? All right, me stand, me so. Me stand, me so. Your wife is going to give communion to you. Your wife is going to give communion to you. This is what the Lord said to me. The second Adam, Jesus, came to bring restoration. And what he did was, we did the, we did the, we did the, the example on, on, on Christmas or whenever. Where try hold, Colin? This is my brother, so I'm showing you something. So this is the Father, this is Jesus. I'm sitting in Jesus. I'm seated in Jesus next to the Father. So this is the place I'm operating from. I'm operating from the kingdom. I'm operating next to God from the throne of Jesus. I'm operating out of Jesus. I cannot have lack in this place. I cannot have lack in a poverty mindset in this place. Because I'm seated in Christ next to the Father. Now the 
this morning, the bone of your bone, activate the kingdom Adam in your husband. I'm going to give you a moment. And I want you to speak blessing over your husband. Say, whatever you carry, I want that. Whatever is released in you, I call it out. Whatever is destiny in you, I call it out. Whatever you carry in me for the children and our legacy, I call it out. I call the second, not the first Adam. I call the second Adam out of you this morning. I call the second Adam out of you. I call the second Adam. I call the authority out of you. I call the blessing out of you. I call the destiny out of you. Come and begin to speak. I call the man that God made you. Come and release a blessing. Release a blessing over your husband. Begin to release a blessing. Begin to release a blessing. I call the second Adam out of you. I call the kingship out of you. I call the lordship out of you. I call this morning the blessing of God out of my second Adam. Hey, Rabbi Sata. Come and call the blessing out of your husband. Call the provision that God gave in him. Call the blessing out of the second Adam. The authority of the house. Call it out of Adam. Call out the wealth in your husband. Call out the blessing in your husband. Call out the authority. Call out the lordship. Call out the kingship. Call him out. Call out the authority. Call out the Lord in him. Call out the blessing, the riches, the wealth in him. Serve our young men, single men this morning. I need wine on the side of the single men. This morning I call the God out in you. I call out the man in you. Like you said yesterday so rightfully. There's a man and there's a man. I call out the man in you this morning. I call out the priest in you this morning. I call out the provider in you this morning. I call out the leader in you for your family. I call out the way giver in you. Hey. Worry, worry. I call out the trust I have. In you. I call out. The second Adam in you. We are not dying. Until we've seen the Lord's Christ. We are not dying. Until I see the manifestation. Of the second Adam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I call forth. Who Jesus called you to be. I call for the prophecy. The prophecy that you carry. I call it forth this morning. I call for the prophecy. I call for the prophecy this morning. Hey, my God. Call forth the prophecy. 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 Ooh, I call forth the prophecy. 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 This morning I call forth the prophecy. 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 Bless your husband. Bless the second Adam in him. Let him come and tell him to come out. Adam, I need you to come out. I need you to come out. My life depends on you. I need you to come out. Because when you come out, I come out. My children come out. My destiny come out. My future come out. The house come out. The legacy come out. Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Sata. I cannot allow you to dwell. I cannot allow you to get lost, Adam. I cannot allow you not to find your way. I need you to find your way. 
Adam, I need you to find your way. I need you to get positioned. I need you, Adam, to follow Jesus. I need you to. Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Healing and restoration. Whatever the enemy stole from my heart, whatever they took from his life, my God, today I call it back. In the name of Jesus, I open the north gate. I open the south gate. I open the east gate. I open the west gate. The longing in his soul. The longing in his soul, God. The longing in his heart, God. If the word says that you know the heart of the righteous, Holy Spirit of the living God, answer my brother speedingly. He needs a quick answer. He needs a now answer. He needs an immediate answer. Hallelujah. 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 Be with his wife. He longs for his wife. He longs for his children. He longs to, the, to be the provider. My God, today, you have made him the provider. You need to provide for him to be the provider. There's no negotiation on that, God. I cannot negotiate on that because that's your word. In the name of Jesus. You can take your holy communion. You can take your communion. You cannot afford to two time a girlfriend. Your destiny is on the line. You cannot afford to waste your life. An entire household depends on you that you're going to come into. You cannot afford to waste your time with playing games on television sets. You cannot waste your time. Time in Kairos time is connected to You may be seated. Now you understand, woman, the importance of praying for your husband. You cannot let him do what he wants to because he needs to be in position. Because the entire house depends on the father. We're going to do the announcement in a moment. We're going to do the tithing and the offering. But I want to tell you this. The father carried the address of the kingdom. I'm going to say that again. The father carried the address of the kingdom. It wasn't the bride. It was the father. He said, our father, who art in heaven, he said to them, let me give you the address of the authority of the kingdom. You carry the address of the, of the authority of the kingdom on earth. I is deep for me, it's about flakas. Can every man stand with you? Just stand where you are, I want to tell you this. Every man in this house. I need you to understand. I need you to understand. You carry the address of the kingdom. I need you to get that. You carry the address of my destiny. So don't play with me. Because my life is in this address. You are the father. You have to be directly connected to our Heavenly Father. There's no negotiation. No, there's a Father's Dag boodschap as it was so far. As ons vir ons uitgesluit, nee, ons is uitgesluit hier. We also carry the kingdom. But there's a blessing that the priest carries. That the woman doesn't carry class, class. 
So don't play with my future. Don't waste your life. Because if you waste your life, you waste my life. Jesus said to them, let me tell you where I come from. My address comes from my father. I'm about my father's business. Every man said, I want every single woman to stand up in this place. Every single woman, stand up. If you're dating, you're single, you're not married. You're only married or you're single. Dating is single. I want to speak to you this morning. You don't waste your time. With any man that doesn't have a connection with this world. You don't waste your time with any man that doesn't know Jesus. Because he will take you nowhere. And I cannot afford, Chantal White, I cannot afford to go nowhere. People's lives are at stake. Any boyfriend that dates you for a long time, you have the right to ask him, what is your plan with me? You have the right. Because your life depends on it. You don't waste your time with a man that doesn't have a plan. I want to die single if a man comes to me. And he doesn't carry the blueprint of heaven in him. My husband must carry the blueprint of God in him. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Lord in heaven. Thank you, Grace. Tell your husband, you are my address. Jesus gives the address of the Father first. He's in heaven. And I come from him. And now I ask, that his address will be resident on earth. That makes me the address where you can find the kingdom. It is that deep. So what Jesus come to do is, he says, I'm imparting kingdom address in you. Let the address come out of you. Let them find me in you. That's why he says we are the temple. I am a heavenly address. Have you been blessed this morning? <laughs> Holy Spirit, open the kingdom in us this morning. Direct the lost to you in me. Direct my broken brother, my drunken brother, my prostitute sister, my lost cousin. Draw them to the heavenly Father in me. As I'm the gateway on earth to the kingdom in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, that all authority has been given to us in Matthew 28. As the Holy Ghost 
is the guarantee of my reward in heaven. As he is the, the open, the, the illumination of the presence of you, Jesus. As the Holy Spirit is the director of destinies to the Father. In me, help us to have a deeper relationship with the Holy, Holy Spirit. For your Spirit is indeed holy. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name I pray.